Lord God. So if you're preparing your tithes, as she's um, bringing us on Facebook Live, amen. Uh, go ahead and prepare your tithes at the end. We will take care of the tithes as well as the seed on tonight. Amen. But nevertheless, I'm standing before everybody, so therefore, a reminder of the announcements. Don't forget, now this Sunday is the 27th, but we will be here. Amen. Those are, will be here. Amen. The 27th, we will be here. This is our last Sunday in this building, the 27th. Amen. 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 And I admonish you all, when you're out and about during the week or whatever, and uh, just go by so you know. Amen. Um, admittedly, where the building is at. Glory to God. So uh, if you leave out of here, so you know I'm going to run by there tonight. Just go down Easter's. Go down, make a left to Easter's, make a right on Rochelle. Amen. And it's right before Beltline. If you go the other way, then it's Beltline, Rochelle. Bam. Okay? So it's up to you. But go ahead and check it out so you won't be um, looking for it on the day of. Amen. Okay, please don't forget market calendars. Uh, May 6th, which is the first Sunday in May, we will be in our new location. Amen. 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 And the time for that is 115. Amen. Amen. And so uh, to those you may or may not have the address, but however, it is 3418 West Rochelle Road. That is 3418 West Rochelle Road. Again, like I first stated, uh, north of Beltline. Uh, for the 183, you'll make a left on Rochelle, and the building is on the left. Glory to God. And it is parking space when you go in in the back. Amen? Amen. Amen. As well as in the front on the side. Glory to God. Also, uh, next Tuesday is May 1st. We will end Bible class here uh, next Tuesday here. Next Tuesday here, we will uh, end Bible class here all together, and then we will uh, start start May 10th, May 10th, which will be Thursday. We will shift from Tuesday to Thursday, which is May 10th, and so next Tuesday, we will be here, which is our last Bible expansion here, and then the following week, which is the 10th, we will be at our new location. Amen? Amen. Please, I'm reminding everybody, everybody, parents and all, don't forget to sow into, amen, Zaya's uh, Church of Japan. I mean, you too, Sister Regina. Amen. Uh, matter of fact, $100 for you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So please don't forget, uh, we're getting close to our goal. Amen. Amen. And so, yeah, everybody, please don't forget that. Also, uh, Houston. On the 6th as well, Houston at 7 o'clock. And so we need everybody to be praying. What an awesome time we had on the conference call. At least I did. Yes. Amen. To hear everybody on the conference call, everybody in their rightful place, everybody having something to say. Amen. To my yes. Lord, God, when I got off, I was so happy and I was crying. I said, God, look at you. Two, two locations. Amen. 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 Not planned by man. But planned by God. Amen. And God has done just what He said. And Amen. We're not going to stop there. Amen. amen. Because one thing I am is an apostle. Yes. An apostle, that's what they do. Amen. It's one of their uh, functionings as an apostle is to uh, build, build amen. ministries. Amen. amen. And so we're excited that God has found us faithful and God has found us worthy to be able to hold up two yes. cities in one state. Amen. For the kingdom of God, for the kingdom of God. Amen. So please pray. Amen. For everybody. Pray for everybody. It's going to be a powerful Sunday on the 6th for all of us. Yes. Your yes. whole entire life is going to shift yes. mightily. Yes. Are you hearing me? Because we're stepping into something so new yes. in the realm of the spirit yes. that your lives will not be the same. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. It will be prophetic. It's not, oh, another Sunday. We're in a new building. No. Mm -mm. God is going to do just what he said he's going to do. He's doing it already right now. Amen. 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 So, amen. Be mindful of the um, announcements. Also, don't come on the first Sunday by yourself. Amen. Bring somebody. Amen. amen. Bring somebody and let them see um, how God is blessing you. Because how you can tell that the Lord is blessing you is how God moves in the house. Yeah. Amen. Are you hearing me? We, 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 we tend to look at the enemy and get our cue from the enemy 
as if we're not getting blessed, as if God is not doing nothing. Are you hearing me? But that's not the key. The key is watch the house. Watch what goes on in the house. Watch how God increases the house. Watch how God bring in more children. Watch how God does it. Watch how he bring in more married couples. Watch how he bring in more a different diversity of people. Watch the house. When you see the house, amen, this is what is happening in the realm of the spirit of your house. Are you hearing me? It's just the situations that the enemy is doing, glory to God, to watch this, to pave the way for you. To make sure that that thing God has purpose and told you it is a promise. But we don't just walk there and say, thank you. Amen. It has to be observation. It has to be um, a, a opponent that's coming against us. Why? Because every door that opens, there is an adversary. Are you hearing me? And so we're excited. So I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And I'm tired today because I had to go over some things over last night with some, some things that people asked me to pray about. So uh talking to the woman of God and her husband and, and I was tired I was, uh, and he was talking and talking I said, oh, I'm tired, I gotta get rid of my Bible class they are so, they got sweet spirits they are so beautiful, amen uh, they are saved, God, thank you hallelujah that yes. you can have any type of building and not be saved yes. amen, and so they are saved and we are excited and God has given us favor with them amen, amen, amen. glory to God, well, it's time for the teaching of the word of God. This is our millionaires club. Lord of God, this is our Bible expansion. Amen. Amen. Survive. Amen. As I was going throughout the day, coach, I began to hear the spirit of the Lord begin to speak to me and say, tell the people, keep keep coming. It's our turn. You better say it. Come on here. I heard the spirit of the Lord say, tell the people to keep coming. It's our turn. When I look at the word, keep coming, let me know if they can hear uh, Zah or not, amen. Uh, when I look at the word, keep coming, glory to God, it means don't stop. Yes. <laughs> it oh, means God. to continue doing. Watch this. Continue being. Continue sending. And continue saving. Yes. Glory to God. So keep coming. Don't stop. Continue doing. Continue being who God has called you to be. Continue sending, sending whatever that may be, and continue saying. Now, Coach, when I look these words up, I looked it in a regular dictionary. So when I saw keep saying, come on, in the regular dictionary, I didn't get that from the Bible dictionary. I got that from the regular dictionary. Keep doing, continue, uh, continue doing, continue being. Continue sending and continue saying, don't stop. Are y'all hearing me? It's our turn. What does that mean? We are up now. All right now. Hallelujah. We are up now. Amen. Anybody know anything about baseball? You have a lineup. You have three uh, um, hitters, Lord of God, that they already have in alignment for them to hit because it's, it's three out. So they have three. And when it's time for the next one, they say, you up now. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? Now watch this. When they say to the person you are up now, what they have to do is to make sure they have the right back. Yes. So the one that was up before them, come on, they're over and they're swinging the back to make sure they have the right, watch this, the weight of the back. Right. I'm not saying that. Yeah. No, 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 no. Ooh, glory to God. To so make sure you have the weight of the glory of God. Yeah. Are you hearing me? The presence of God. The word of God. Come on, somebody. The love of God. While other people were up, while it was their turn. You had to be over in the cut. Not because God was ignoring you. It was because God was getting you ready for your turn. Is anybody listening? Did everybody go home? And so you have to keep coming. Because why? It's our turn. How did it become? I turn now. That's the question. How did it become our turn? It became our turn now because of the persistence. The persistent, being persistent in that that God has told us to do. Being persistent, glory to God, hallelujah, what God had purpose for us to do. 
If we could just ever learn to be persistent with or without, just keep being persistent. You can't have persistent and excuse at the same time because excuse will slow you down. Persistence will keep you moving. And that word persistence means continually, firmly to do. Yes. Y'all not saying nothing. Because when you look back over the services and you go back over the service and you look on Facebook or you look at YouTube, you can see the prophetic exhortation. You can see the word. Are you hearing me? And how God was giving us glory to God of, of the very things he was doing in the realm of the spirit or in our atmosphere. And what keeps sticking out to my mind, glory to God, was when a deep said, get out of our comfort zone. Yes. In other words, you're going to be doing some things that you're not comfortable with. And so you have to keep doing what you are not comfortable with because it doesn't come easy to become the habit of you. Is anybody listening? And so you have to press through what is the opposition that will try to make you not want to keep moving in the very thing that is making you effective in the kingdom of God. Is anybody listening? Did everybody come home? And so persistent is the key. Persistent is the key. And, and I, I believe uh, uh, Providence Diane, I got two Diane, but the one in Houston, I just, I, I don't have my hat on, but I tip my hat off to her. I tip my hat off, glory to God, because as soon as we got done, when our conference call and everybody heard what it was that they were to do, glory to God, she didn't even sit there and wait. She didn't sit there and wait till the next. Well, what am I supposed to do? She jumped on everything she knew to do and she got everything together to spread she so everybody know what yeah. they're supposed to do. Yeah. She got the app. Come on, somebody. Yeah. So we can stay what? A joint. We can stay group on. Yeah, okay, Are you okay, hearing me? Okay. You have to be persistent. This is why I'm excited because I don't have time going behind people. I just don't. I don't have time because if I'm going behind people to say, you got this, you did, then it's taking me from what I'm supposed to do because I'm supposed to be persistent in that that God has given me. And so because God said, keep coming, keep doing everything he has called you to do, whether you're at home or whether you're in the kingdom of God. Are you hearing me? Whether you are at work, he said, keep coming. Amen. And it has to be persistent. Are you hearing me? What is a sacrifice? How do you know when you're sacrificing? You're not sacrificing because everything is going well. That is not sacrifice. Sacrifice is when all hell has hit you and then you have to press your way to do whatever it is God has called you to do. Whether it's to press your way to get up to make sure your children is ready for school. Are you hearing me? That's considered the sacrifice. The sacrifice is not when, woo, I got energy. That's not the sacrifice. Are you hearing me? Yes. Glory to God. And so we have to be persistent. Continually, finally, to do, not bagging up, not being shyster. And again, y'all know I don't care. I'm not in it to make friends. I'm in it to hear God say, well done. Are you hearing me? And we don't like that because we're too busy. Well, how are you doing? And what you doing? And what you And I'm not in that. Right. Amen. Because why? Glory to God. You can't get common with me. You right. get common with me. You get common with the gift. And what the gift was doing for you, it no longer will do for you. Right. Because now it will cause you to now not honor me. Right. 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 And honor goes a long way. Yeah. Those that get blessed is those that honor the gift. Amen. And when you get comfortable or common with the gift, you lose the honor. You can pretend all day. Yeah. That you, you have it, you in here. but you can lose it, and that's why. You in here. Let me tell you something. Put this in your notes. Put you this in your notes, and put a star by it, and highlight. You want to know how to keep being blessed? You, you want to know how God handles you in your life? Honor the gift that He's given you. Honor the gift. Do not try to get common with the gift. Honor the gift, because it's the gift, and when you honor, He'll honor you. Honor goes a long way. It goes a long way. And that's connected with persistence. Are you hearing me? Are you listening? Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Watch this. Continuing firmly to do. Watch this. Continuing beyond the usual. That's persistent. You can't be walking in the usual. It's got, it has to go beyond the usual. Watch this. Coach. It has to go beyond even the point of expectancy. 
Glory to God. Why? Because you can expect something. I can expect a male and still not have the energetic uh, being that, I, that, that God wants from me. And so I have to say, God, help me to go beyond. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Help me to go beyond the expectancy. Why? Because everybody now in the body of Christ is what? Expecting. <laughs> and I put your hand on your stomach. Put your hand on your stomach. Put your hand on your stomach. Your hand on your stomach. I don't see you expecting to have a little baby. You, you see what I'm saying? But there's some people out there that it says what? An expectancy. Are you hearing me? And when they're in expectancy, all things change. But what is it when you're not in expectancy in the natural having a baby? How does things change for you? You see what I'm saying? When it doesn't look like you, 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 uh, you, 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 you're going to get big, you're going to swell up. Come on, your, your, your taste buds are going to change. So automatically, it's a what? It's a mind thing. Because you don't have a baby inside of you. Okay. Y'all better come on. Come on, come on. So expectancy, I got to take y'all to the deep. Y'all not in the shallow. You're in the deep. So when expectancy comes from God to you, it is totally different than when you was on the, on the banks. Are you hearing me? Oh, uh oh. That's why I said you're not pregnant, right? If you was pregnant, you was what? Expecting. And if you was expecting, there are certain things you will have to do and would not do. Are you hearing me? But when God said, I need you to come into the expectancy of me, that means do not do it like everybody else. Go beyond. Go beyond. Are you hearing me? So you have to you have to let people start saying to you, it don't take all of that. Right. You have to start allowing people to say to you, that's too much. That's right. That's right. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Why? Because you are now no longer in the line with them right. of expectancy. Yes. Because you're doing what? You're doing extra to make sure. Oh God, how to Shia. Glory to God. Uh -huh. Persistent. Uh -huh. Continue beyond the usual expect or normal time. Are you hearing me? Yeah. It's just like going to work out and you say in your workout, you're going to go on the treadmill. You got the treadmill set for 30 minutes and, and you got it in high elevation of, as if you was climbing a mountain. Well, you already, watch this, you already have the normal time of 30 minutes. Yeah. That's normal time. Are you hearing me? But to be in, watch this, but to be in persistent of beyond time, which means you will do what? Extend the time. Because yeah. Yeah. if 30 minutes has already killed you, yeah. come on somebody, and you sit here and say, you know what? I have to go beyond the time. So then I go extra and watch this. And what I what what I was not waking up is going to wake up. Yes, because I need every element, every part of my being to be woke now. I don't have time for people to shake me. I don't have time for what the scripture says. I'm going to shake the heavens and the earth. Because when God shakes the heaven and the earth, you're not moving. Because when he shakes stuff, he has to shake stuff off of you. Yeah. When he shakes stuff, he has to shake, glory to God, the fruit that is matured to come forth. Are you hearing me? And so there's a time of the shaking, and then there's a time of the moving. So you have to be woke in every element of your life. Is anybody listening, or did everybody go home? And so to be persistent, you've got to go beyond the normal time. Are you hearing me? Hear well, I know I'm at my end, but I got to do what? Push it a little further. Why? Because the persistence that is in me keep keep coming. It's your turn. My gay baby so almost shy. Persistent also means not stopping. Come on here. Not stopping. <sighs> Why is it? And how is it? Then when you get close to 
the end and you can see the finish line, instead of you pushing it, you start slowing down. So you have to be careful that those that are in track, you know you're the fastest one. And it looks to you that you've beaten everybody. And because you think you're beating everybody, you see the finish line and instead of you kicking it, come on here somebody, you start slowing down. But what you fail to realize, there's somebody behind you, come on here somebody, that is kicking it because you have given them the energy to hurry up and to pass you. And because now the mindset is saying they think they got it so they slowing down. Are you hearing me? And for the one that is behind them, the mindset is, now let's go ahead and push it because where they are stopping I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and win. So where it was their turn, they were slowing down because they was at the finish line. Y'all not seeing it. Right. And because you see the finish line, don't mean you're going to make it over. Nobody is saying Glory to God. They're not saying nothing to them, sister. You got to learn and understand her. Just because you see the finish line and just because you think you're the one that is getting ready to finish, you got to understand there's other people behind you that you don't even see. So in other words, if God has given you a leadway like he told us, then why would you sit there and be slow and try to stop along the way? Who am I talking to right here? I need some people that is going to keep coming because it's your turn. When it's your turn, you have to understand uh, the persistence has to come forth out of you. You have to come out of the norm. Uh, you have to come out of what everybody else is doing and how they're doing. It has to begin to say, you think you all that. You think you better than me. You think you got it going on. No, that's your problem. But I'm being persistent because God told me to keep coming. They come talk on to a little more higher. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. Uh -huh. Ooh, no stopping or going away. It's easy to tuck tail and say I'm out. Because I ain't got to take this no more. Then you ain't got to take out no more. Who you think is me? Come on, I didn't call you. Right. I yeah. didn't say you. Right. And I didn't give you the assignment. Right. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Glory to God. And you're not persistent. How is it that we, the body of Christ, can be persistent in the in, oh, God. in the things of the world and not be persistent in the things of God? Glory to Kevin Shire. We get up and we go back to a job. Amen. That we have a boss that don't care nothing about us. We don't walk away. You can walk away mad, but guess what? You get your clothes together for the next day. Are you hearing me? We don't even walk away from a landowner that is tripping and cheating us. Come on here. Because, uh, see, I need a room. Well, you need God, too. You need God, too. Are you hearing me? Yes. The easy way is to do what? walk away. But you have no persistence. You have, glory to God, no type of force in you to push whatever it is trying to push you. You always give it in to whatever is trying to push you. Are you hearing me? And that's why you never get nowhere. Glory to God. But the Lord said to tell the people to keep coming. If God is saying that, that means that we're coming no matter what. We're pushing through no matter what. What? No matter what the enemy is tossing our way, no matter how our bodies are feeling, no matter what our, no matter what our money is saying, no matter how our marriage is acting, no matter, no matter, no matter, no matter how our children is acting, no matter, no matter, no matter, no matter, no matter we are doing what? We are keeping coming. And we're coming with a smile. Why? Because keeping it coming is not coming to a house. Keeping it coming is not coming to a car. Keeping it coming is not coming to anything in the earth. When the Lord said, tell them to keep coming, he said, keep coming to me. Right, right, all right. Keep coming to me, said the Lord. Are you hearing me? Keep coming to me, said the Lord. Are you listening? And so persistent is going to take you out of your comfort zone. Persistent is going to take you, glory to God, in being flexible into being firm. Like it or not. Yeah. Take it or not. Handle it or not. 
Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Because anybody that's persistent, glory to God, know there's a goal, G-O-A-L, in front of them. And your goal, just because it's in front of you, and in the natural, it looked like for me to Zion, there's nobody there. There's nothing in the way. But in the room of the Spirit, if I want to get to Zion, glory to God, and though in the natural, it looked like there is nothing that's a, a trying to oppose me, glory to God, that's a lie. Because in the room of the Spirit, in Zion, glory to God, that is in front of me is a blessing to me. Then the very thing that the enemy wants to do is do what? To oppose me. To make me to walk away from my blessing. Y'all not saying that. That's why you can't look in the natural and it look like to you in the natural. Oh, there's nothing there. I could just easily walk on there. I could just take my time. I could just do what I want to know because you and I are in the world, but we're not of the world. We don't get glory to God. We don't get our information from what we see in the natural. We get our information of what we cannot see. Is anybody listening? I know y'all walked up in here. I know you parked your car. Glory to God. And you got out. Uh, and you walked through those double doors. Uh, and then you came through the lobby. Uh, and then you came through the door. And I know it looked like it was just you. Uh, but there were demonic spirits. Uh, y'all not saying nothing. I love you. I know you saw when you was riding down the street. Uh, it was just you and another car. Glory to God. Riding down the street. Uh, but no, there are demonic spirits. Because everywhere there is a jurisdiction of demonic spirits. You have to go through the host of demonic spirits. But when God is on your side, you do not get afraid. You keep doing what? Keep coming. Are you hearing me? But when we don't understand that, glory to God, as if nothing is standing in our way, we say, yes, Lord, and we say, we can do it, God. But then when we start, glory to God, it feels good. But when it's time for the rubber to meet the road, now we got a problem. Now we don't want to be persistent. Now we want to slow up. Now we want to say, God, pick me up and carry me over there. No, no, no. God said the word is going to take you through. But you're going to have to do something within your ability so therefore super can come upon your natural tell your neighbor keep coming it's our turn keep coming it's our turn so keep, keep coming keep coming watch this watch this watch this keep coming in our worship to God not just slow for worship not just petty worship not just Hallelujah. And I worship him. Are you hearing me? Oh, God, thank you. Oh, God, you. And so since I did that, I did my worship. Mm -mm. He said, no, because I need you to do what? To be persistent in it. In that keep coming. Yeah, keep coming. In our worship to God. Keep coming. In our praise to God. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Glory to God. One thing about Bible class, one thing about a uh, uh, millionaire's club or Bible expansion, it, it shouldn't be dead or dry. Right. Right. Even though you got off of work and you work for man, you never, you work for your time. Right. So you get some money. That's right. So don't come to church and I'm tired. <laughs> because you work for man to get some money. Yeah. Are you hearing me? So when you come to the millionaire's club, this ain't going to be no Sunday shopping church only. Well, Y'all done lost your mind. Come on, here somebody. Glory to God. <laughs> David said it like this. I was glad. Right. Now don't shout they only. Okay. Amen. By the time you got ready to clock out, thank you, Jesus. I'm here to church. I'm getting ready to praise the Lord. I'm getting ready to give God some more glory. Why? Because the enemy knows when I give God the glory, he's about to get it. So you got to keep coming. Yes, yes. And I'm not talking about keep coming to this building. Keep coming to this building. No, keep coming to God with your praise. Yes, yes. With an authentic, real praise to God. Yes, yes. David, see when David lost the covenant, the, yes. the ark of the covenant, yes. and he overheard. Yes. And, 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 and they said to David, listen David, you can trip and keep on tripping all you want. King. Yes. Be upset all you want, King. Why are you doing all that? 
God is still being God in over Edom's house. So for three months, while David was over there tripping, trying to be sad, trying to go to God, hey, God, you shouldn't have did it like that. And God, I don't, I don't feel you should have did it this way and that way. And God said, okay, you sit right there because I'm not standing. I'm not standing right here and holding a conversation with you because I'm a, watch what he says, because I'm a God, glory to God, that look for praises. The Lord said, tell them, I am a God that looks for praises. And if when he looks for praises, yes, tell them that it will do. He said, he, he inhabits the praises of his people. So he's looking for somebody to praise him. So he can inhabit, come down and be with you. You can sit here all day time, I'm tired. And I, when I ask God, no, my heart, y'all better stop this foolishness. Because if you can get up the time you get up for some jack that is serving the devil be attentive you're not saying nothing making sure their product get out you're not saying nothing and you punk is a joke y'all ain't saying nothing and you can't praise God you can't keep coming up you got to always be upset so fire the fire the devil got to always be on you to get a radical praise from you something is wrong it got to be so close that people turn around blind jam or you were going through because you praise God all the time. I made you king. I put you in that position. I put you there. I put you in that house. I woke you up this morning. Y'all not saying nothing at all. And you got the audacity on oh, many of this club night to come in and just sit there like somebody owe you something. Y'all not saying that. Oh, oh, oh. When God said keep coming, he said I want that persistent of your praise. I want that persistent of your worship. I want that persistent of your giving, giving and honor unto God. I want that persistence of your obedience to God. I want your persistence of faith and love unto God. You can find that in Philemon chapter 1 verse 4 and 5. Thank you, Lord. Come on, come on. I am. You are in here. Oh, Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Watch this. You got to keep it coming. In the truth of God. What you say? Lying. What you say? Stay in the truth of God. Tell the truth. Y'all not saying nothing. A lie is a lie. I don't care how big and how small. A lie it's a lie. Woo! <laughs> it's just what? A lie. Tell the truth yes, in God. Yes. Tell the truth. Is anybody listening? Yes. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Y'all not saying nothing. I don't want to hurt nobody feeling. It ain't about you hurting nobody feeling. It is about you being blessed by God. Are you hearing me? Because if you feel some kind of way anyway, y'all not saying the, the scripture says, leave your gift at the altar. Come on, y'all would be so technical in the word. That's right. Amen. Leave your gift at the altar and go get it right. That's right. That's right. And if they don't want to hear you, they go get somebody else. And if they don't want to hear you with the witness, then speak among the church. That's right. Come on. Because if you know word, you know word, you're going to do the word. Are you hearing me? So tell them, keep coming in the truth. Is anybody listening? Yes. Keep coming. In the truth. And I hear some people saying, you know, glory to God, well, well, when you think you always doing right, now that's your problem. Right. That ain't mine. Because you don't know what I say to God. Right. You don't have a problem. Come on here. Because on what, what was that Saturday? What was I at Saturday preaching? Was I preaching Saturday? Yes, ma'am. Glory to God. You don't know you. Come on. You got to learn how to do what? Love yourself. That's right. You pretend with everybody else because you don't know how to love yourself. That's and to right. love yourself, you got to tell yourself the truth. And, the, and this is what gives me. Your friend for me to want to connect. And glory to God, watch this quote. People know when they lie. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And when you don't respond, then I know you lie. They like, whoosh. They didn't even know. No, what God said, don't say nothing. Don't worry about it. Because I'm going I'm to give them enough space yep. to get it right or they're going to hate themselves off the lie. Yep. Well, okay. Y'all not saying nothing. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Did not Haman hang himself yeah. off of the lie? He told the king 
one thing. He was lying to the king. Yeah. Are you hearing me? To take out the Jews and Mordecai. Yeah. He lied. Yeah. And the very lie, come on here, was the very thing he wanted to hang. But God, listen, God ain't hanging nobody in no lie. Come on. Come on. Come on here. God ain't fighting nobody battle in no lie. Come on. Amen. They not saying that to me. Talk about it. Come on here. Come on, come on, come on. Keep coming in the truth of God. Truth is connected to what? The word of God. That's right. Are you hearing me? Jesus, see, I don't understand how we keep praising Jesus and keep hollering Jesus and glorifying Jesus when Jesus called the people a vibrant. Well, that's true. <laughs> Come on, you vibrant generation. You snakes. <laughs> Come on here. Glory to the most shot. Well, that's our Savior. You can't say that. You and the devil is alive because if he's given the authority to rebuke you in your life, rebuke is harsh. Are you hearing me? But I'm tired of people walking around. Glory to God, lying, and they know they lie. Because yeah. oh, if you lie, you're not coming to God. You're not coming to God. What happened was you made a detour in the road. Yes, yes. Why you think you're coming to God, you just made another path. And let me tell you something. It's either God or the devil. So you made another path. You're making your way to the devil. And when he said that you are out of the ark of safety, he's going to try to destroy you. And you better hope God bring you back in before he take your mind. You better stop lying. Come on. Tell him that will do. He said he will turn you over to a reprobated mind. What is a reprobated mind? What you think you said, which is a lie, he'll make you think it's the truth. And you can't, you and I will not be able, glory to God, to say, mm, no, he's already locked you in. That everything you said, that is a lie. You're going to always think it's the truth because he turned your mind over. Wow. Since you want to lie so much. Come on. And not keep coming Come on. Oh. in the truth of God. Yes. Come on. I'm losing my praises. Come on. Come on. Keep coming yeah. in the truth of God. Truth of God. God can work with us yes. in yes. truth. Yes. He tells us in Revelation, I'd rather you be hot or cold, not lukewarm. Why? Because that's double mind. Yeah. And he has to what? Spew yeah. us out of his mouth. Are you hearing me? Because today I want to be hot. Tomorrow I want to be cold. Yeah. Today I want to be hot. Tomorrow I want to be cold. Today I want to be on. Tomorrow I want to be off. Today I'm, you understand what I'm saying? And God said, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Get somewhere and be you still. So I can work with you. So you got to keep coming in the truth of God. That's right. Are you hearing me? You have to keep coming in the trusting of God. Jeremiah 17, verse 7 and 8. Write that down. You got You gonna trust something. I don't care what y'all say. You better open up your eyes and understand. You're going to trust something or somebody. Yes. And whatever you trust must be your God. Yes. Yes, Lord. Amen. He said, do not put no trust in the arms of flesh. You better, I promise you. That's right. If we can get our eyes off of other people and get our eyes on us, do not put your trust in the arms of flesh. It ain't always other people. It's you. You put your trust in your own self, your own ability, your own identity. Come on here. Your own what you think and how you feel. Come on here. And that you got a good case and you got witnesses and you got to come on here. Now, he said, do not put no trust. In the arm of the flesh. Yes. Are you hearing me? You yes. want to trust somebody. Yes, you are. You want to trust some things. That's right. Put your trust in the Lord. Oh, God, I trust you. Even when I can't trace. I don't know what you're doing, but I gotta learn how to keep coming and trusting me. See, can I go ahead and help help y'all? Help us, God. See, y'all don't want to graduate. You want to keep staying a little old mustard seed. When you first came into the Lord, guess what? God showed you he was there. Come here, daughter. Every step of the way, he showed you. Turn around. Turn around. And fall back. He showed you he was there all the time. 
All the time. All the time. All the time. And you kept growing. And you kept growing. All of a sudden, God said, okay, now you're in a place that I can hide from you. Come on. See, y'all not ready for that realm. And I'm trying to tell you, that's where y'all at. Jesus. Hallelujah. See me. Yeah. And you'll find me. That's right. He said, you're in a mature realm that I can hide from you. That I don't have to always be there. Because you trust me so. Are you hearing me? Like that's that. where you at. It's not a, watch this. It's not about how many scriptures you know. It's how much you trust God. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Are you listening? Because God is what? The word. And if you could trust all of him, then you trust all of the word that you don't even know yet. Amen. Amen. Come on. Did not, did not Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trust God? Yes, they did. And guess what? They was going into what? The fiery furnace. They want to my God, you going to meet me in there? <laughs> Give me a sign. You in there. They said to the king, if he don't do it, because that's his choice. That's right. I just want you to know he's still able. That's right. See, that's the trust that we have to have. Are y'all hearing me? Yes. Are you listening? Yes. Are y'all getting this? Yes. You have to have that. Glory to God. And see, see, it was all about God being glorified. That's true. Mm -hmm. So he was Jesus was already in there. <laughs> so the king said, Wait a minute. Did we not throw in three? Mm -hmm. Where does this fourth one come from that look like the Son of God? Okay. Praise are y'all hearing me? Yes. Keep coming and trusting God. Yes. He have not let you down yet. You better the come. only way he's going to let you down and he's still not going to let you down is because you and I got our course. That's right. The Lord still is where he, he's still where he's at. That's right. Are you hearing me? Amen. See, you listen, write this one down. <laughs> write this down. Lord, you say it. Write that. Right, just like that. Lord, you say it. You will not put me to shame. Mm. All right, I'm done. <laughs> That's in the word. That's in the word. He will not put you to shame. If you could just say that, God, you said, yeah, you will not put me to shame. Then go about your business. Because he's not going to put you to shame. To shame. Why? Yeah. Because you trust in him. Yeah. Are you hearing me? You standing up on his word. You're doing everything that you know to do. And if God didn't reveal nothing new, you got to keep on doing it. You got to keep marking time until he changes it. We keep trying to change the dynamics of the time. When God said, mark time. Are you hearing me? When, when the children of Israel, glory to God, was headed out of, out of, um, of Egypt, the Bible said that the Lord was a pillar of cloud by day. And by night, he was a pillow, it was a, it was a pillow fire by night. Are you hearing me? Now, when he told them to be still, he lifted himself from them. Ooh, Jesus. When it was time for them to move forward, he was there. That's right. When it was time for them to be still, he lifted himself from them. So if, if he's not saying nothing, then you mark time. And to mark time means to keep doing what you've been doing. Well, I've been doing this for a whole year. Keep doing it because why? He's not there. The, the cloud by day is not there to lead you. That's right. And the pillar of fire by night is not That's behind right. you to protect you from the enemy. That's right. So keep doing what you've been doing. That's right. That's what the scripture said, Bri Bri. That's right. When he lifted himself up, go read it in Exodus. When he lifted himself up, they had to be still. That's right. They That's marked good. time. Are y'all getting this? Yeah. You got to trust God. Are you hearing me? Lord, you will put, you will not put me to shame. Amen. Don't you know demons trying to put you to shame? People trying to put you to shame? Everybody. Come on. The weather trying to put you to shame. How about Shonda? How about that? Are you listening? If we don't learn God, that's it, my son. Knowing his ways. He got mad at the children of Israel when they was in Egypt. Because they kept complaining as if God wasn't going to take care of the situation. Right, right, right. 
And so the Lord said to Moses, but even Moses was cool like that. No. <laughs> he did not go to tell the children of Israel, I'm going to get y'all. He went to Moses, I'm going to wipe them out. So can I help y'all with something? Yeah. If y'all making God mad, he coming to tell you. He going to come tell me. That's right. Now, I mean, did y'all read your word. That's right. He did not come to Israel. He went to Moses and said, Moses, I'm going to wipe them out. Because they murmur, they complaining, huh? They acting like I'm not gonna take care of them. That's why you in the, that's why you in a wilderness situation. That's when you know God. In the wilderness is when you know the power of God. When you know the supernatural ability of God. In the wilderness, are y'all hearing me? Which means you ain't got no money to make a hundred dollars. But guess what? You in the wilderness, and God said, "I'm gonna tell you what to do. I'm gonna tell you speak to the rock." Come on. And it's going to bring for money. Come on. Come on. Come on. Or I'm going to tell you to hit the rock. That's right. However, it's going to be what? A supernatural That's move. Right. We don't like the wilderness, but in the wilderness is where you get your miracles. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Is anybody listening? Amen. Yes. Amen. So, 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 so God talked to Moses and said, I'm getting ready to wipe them out. Moses had to stand and plead with God. And say, God, if you wipe them, them. Are you hearing? It's just okay. Let's just uh, uh, flip the coin. It's just like you. God is talking to you on behalf of your family. Right. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. So he ain't gonna go to, to your family. Come up and wipe wipe you all out. No, he gonna come to you. If your family don't get it together, I'm gonna wipe them out. The amen's got low right there. Well, it's true. Are you hearing me? And then you have to stand in in, in, in the mediator That's right. That's right. on their behalf because they don't even know they're getting ready to get wiped out yes. Yes. because they're disobeying God. Yes. I know y'all like that. Ain't nothing cushion about God. That's right. No cushion. No cushion. You right about that. Jesus. Are you hearing me? And that's why you go and what Eli, what Eli, I am, what Eli was supposed to do, not just go and tell his sons, y'all tripping and messing with the sacrifice. He was supposed to rebuke them and sit them down. Yeah. Amen. 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 Are you hearing me? And because he did it, God wiped them all out, even Eli. But he came to Eli. He did not go to the sons. I'm trying to help you. Why God picked you and pulled you out for your family? Come on here. And you see that? Stroke them like a little kitty cat. It's gonna be alright. No, it ain't because God can tell you what. It ain't gonna be none of your prayers, it ain't gonna be none of your family, it ain't gonna be none of your soul see, your seed soul. When God said, get out the way, if you don't get out the way, I'm gonna tell you what to. That's right. That's right. I know y'all don't like it, and I know y'all don't think it's scripture, but it's worse. Yeah, it is. Yes. So he's gonna come to you. Yes. On behalf of your family, not just your children and your husband, on behalf of your whole entire family. Yes. Yes. Are y'all getting that? And you have to be in a relationship with God like Moses was, that he can talk God down. He said, watch what he said. He said, think about it. If you wipe them out, your enemies. My God. Okay. Your enemies are going to say, you didn't have the power or the ability to get them out. You brought them out so far. There's an angel beside you. You brought them out so far, but you didn't have enough strength to take them all away. It had nothing to do with the people. It was about his enemies. And who is his enemy? The devil. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. And so Moses said, Hello. I mean, the Lord said, okay, you right, like those shoes. You right. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to let them old ones die out. That been with me so long. And don't want to trust me. In other words, I'll let them stand still and for, for God to cause the people, the children of Israel to stand still, he had to take his spirit up. Yeah. Are you hearing? Because if you're moving forward, he's going to be in front of you. Right. Then right. at night, he goes behind you. So in your night season of you moving, he goes behind you. That's why you just keep moving. Yeah. That's a whole different teaching. Okay. Uh -huh. So he told them to stand, stand there, just be still. And I'm going to kill them all. I'm going to let them all die before they go over into the cave. And then those that they was having babies did not know of God. And they were in the, now in the hand of Joshua. Yeah. 
Uh -huh. Amen. Then it was time to move. What you say? What you say? Amen. And that's why the Lord said, Joshua, get the Levites, get the priests. You're going over Jordan first. Amen. And then you're going to make a memorial. They're not saying that to me, Jesus. <laughs> y'all don't even know who y'all are. You trying to befriend your family. That's why God pulled you out and made you the back. <laughs> made you the black sheep. And now, now, now they saying hi to you. Yeah, yeah. You just all, yeah, yeah. I guess you won't be the one. He's going to find somebody. Because <laughs> you didn't even know why God did what he did. Come on. Say that. Thank Thank so much. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Woo. We reunion. We back together again. Let's take pictures. Let's do this. Okay. That that young man that's gonna come through the loins of her. In about five years, I'm gonna use him instead of them. Because they didn't know why I happened to be a black sheep. It was all about to save the family. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are you hearing me? Yes. Are you right? I got it. <laughs> when he tells you to, to be still to mark time, he's not moving. And if you move, you're not moving with God. And when we say, God, where you at? I don't I don't see you, I don't feel you. That's because you're marking time. Amen. 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 Write that down. Amen. Amen. Write that down. Amen. See, we say things and don't understand why we say it at the time we say it, not knowing that his spirit had went up. Because why? It's something he has to do, kill off, and cause something to birth. Are y'all hearing me? When it was time for Mary, when it was time for Mary to have Jesus. They could not move anymore. He had to now go and find a place. And there was no room. Y'all know. So he ended up in a barn. Because now it was deliverance time. So they had to do what? Be still. So either God is taking something from you or you birthing something out. You cannot birth something out moving. Amen. Y'all will look real crazy. <laughs> confused no more. Are you listening? Because if we keep saying something, he he, he winks at the things we say that we don't have, we don't have understanding about. Right. Are you listening? But once we begin to get understanding, he don't wink at that no more. God will slap you okay. and slap you into next week with no help. Nice. Are, are you understanding? Yeah. So we have to understand word. We have to put our trust in God. Understand the pattern of God. When you understand the pattern of God, you will handle the ways of God and the way he's taking you better. Amen? Amen. Amen. So if he's not in front of you according to the word, the pillow cloud by day is not in front of you, then you're not moving. If the, if the, if the, if the, if the, uh, the pillow fire is not behind you, you're not moving. Okay? Because that's a night season. But you still got to move. Okay? And it's not for the light for us from the back. It is the light to blind the enemy. That's it. Not to see you move. That's right. Not to that's see right. you shift. But when you come to that place of market time, 
He lifts his spirit up. He's still with you, but he lifts his spirit up. Are you listening? And that's the time. You can tell when that's the time. Because you say, God, I don't feel you. Okay. God, oh, yeah. That's when a light bulb should go off in you. Okay, if I'm saying that, then I'm marking time. And if I'm marking time, he's taking something from me or I'm burping something out. Oh, that's good. Woo. My God. See, the Bible says it like this, that when, 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 when Pharaoh, and I got to go, and this is extra, so y'all going to have to throw in a, you know, a, a tip right here. <laughs> the Pharaoh said, when uh, the children, uh, when the women, Israel, Hebrews, have they been, because they think it's come out laughing. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And especially if it's a boy, do away with them. But the Bible says that they're still being still and they're literally sitting on a stool. See, we got it good. We laying on the bed. Back then they're on a, like a stool. And before the handmaidens can come, the babies are already out. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> before anybody can come into your life to even help you, wow. you already pushed it out. Travail comes after the birthing. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. In the natural, it comes before. That's right. In the spirit, it comes after. So when you're pregnant and you have the baby, you think of your travail to have the baby. No, you have the baby, now you travail. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, oh, come on. Glory to God. And see, what you have is lively. You've got to be still. It's going to zap all your energy. Are you hearing me? You need energy to push. They tell you to bear down and push. And you tell them what? And they keep saying, bear down and push. So trust him. But you got to know when to trust him, how to trust him, and, 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 and why am I trusting him right here more than I trust him over here? Because over here, I'm in the wilderness and he has lifted his spirit. Because I'm doing what? Marking time. That's good. He killed them off. He let them get old. They weren't going nowhere. That's why they stayed in the wilderness for 40 years. Because of murmuring complaining of some oldies and they weren't goodies. <laughs> you know, we got some oldies with goodies songs. Ooh, these ones oldies, no goodies. Are you hear me? And everybody had to do a reap the percussion of some knuckleheads. Ow! Oh, because they had to stay oh. in the wilderness until that died off. Yes. <laughs> yes. Are you hearing the Lord? So you have to keep coming and what? Trusting Him. Okay. Y'all got that? Y'all yes. understand that? Yes. Okay. And, and it says, when you begin to do all those things, watch this, which will cause our turn to come quicker. Jesus. Are you hearing me? You could be sitting in a long line, and you can see a long line, because God can reveal some things to you and show you some things. And, you know, when you be like, God, you count. Oh, it's about 20 before me. Oh, Jesus. I don't even know. Oh, when is this going to happen? But you know what? That don't move you. That don't bother you. Because if I keep coming in my worship, Come on. if I keep coming in my praising, Come on. if I keep coming in my trusting, if I keep coming in honoring and loving, if I keep coming in faith, mm -hmm. then guess what? It'll move me up quicker. Amen. It'll be my turn quicker. Oh, y'all not saying that. Oh, keep coming. For it's our turn. Are y'all getting that? Yes. Are y'all ready? Yes. Are you peace? Come on, shot. Luke chapter 18. Go there. Go there. See, now, you, I, I, I have to keep it pushing, baby. You better testify. <laughs> See, when you're in a whole, and it's not that you're in a better class or better beyond everybody, but when you know when you're in the realm of the spirit, listen. Listen. Uh -uh. 
He may take time with you. With me, hmm. He done brought the rod out, pop. You know, like that monkey did, uh, you know. Right ain't he even gonna give you a week or two days. He just gonna hit me. Right. <laughs> have you ever said, well, God, I don't understand. Why, why did I get corrected so quick? Why did I have to go through something that quick? And they did the same thing. And it seemed oh, like yeah. Yeah. you ain't doing nothing to them. Okay. Over here. They walking around cheesing and all that and stuff still flowing in their life and, and got some to touch this for a second. Have you ever been there? Just want to know if anybody ever been there? I know yeah. I've been there. And guess what God is saying? Your maturity is much higher than theirs. If your maturity is much higher than theirs, come on, y'all got children. Yeah. Will you lean it a little bit with one? The other one? Ah, uh -uh. you should have known that. You see, it is the same thing. It's the same thing. Ouch. Are you hearing me? But we don't understand that. We just, you know, just thinking that, you know, you know. I want to see God. I want you, God. And who did y'all not see? I got it. Hey. Hallelujah. <laughs> y'all seeing now, huh? Woo. Tell them that. Be careful what you ask for. Yeah. I told you I love what, uh, what's that baby name? Marilyn Hickey said when she was at Daystar, she began to say she was on a plane, and the man said, "Oh, you 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 a Christian? I believe it. You can't drink. You can't do nothing." That's so she said, "Yes, I can." <laughs> yes, I can. Hello. But I choose not to. Amen. Hello. Amen. Oh, come on! Somebody should wrote that down in their notes. <laughs> But I choose not to. Why? Because I'm a child of God. That's it. I respect That's it. God. I honor Him. And these things that will cause my relationship with Him to be destroyed. Yes. So it's not that I can't. I can't. But I choose not, not to. So there's a choice in the matter, okay? You, you, you choose to worship him. You choose to praise him. You choose to give and honor him. You choose to obey him. You choose to have faith and love in him. You choose to uh, to, to, to keep having truth in him. You choose to trust him. You, you choose him. He ain't yeah. making it. Right. That's right. He ain't That's making true. you. That's true. Are you hearing me? You yes. have a choice. Yes, ma'am. Are you hearing me? And with every choice comes what? My consciousness. Well, the good and the bad. Hello. So Luke chapter 18, are y'all there? Yeah. Glory to God. Luke 18. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, keep coming. Keep coming. It's our turn. It's our turn, y'all. Luke chapter 18, reading from the NIV version. Watch this, verse 2. The Bible decrees the word of God to be so. In a certain, he said, in a certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town, watch this, watch this coach, who kept coming. Uh -huh. I said, yeah. oh, that's true. Okay. And the NIV it said, who kept coming. The Spirit of the Lord spoke to me, said, tell them to keep coming. Keep coming, that's right. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, grant me justice against my adversary. For some time, he refused. So watch this, Coach. Coach, for some time, he refused. Which means the first time she came, he didn't give in to her. So how many times she had to do what? Keep coming. Now what did I tell y'all? The Lord said, keep coming in our worship unto him. Keep coming in our prayer. And what he said to be persistent in it. Like hot boiling water. Yes, Lord. Are y'all hearing me? Yes, Lord. And he, she was saying, my plea is that you grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, not nobody else, even though I don't fear God or care what the people think, yet because of this widow keeps coming. Come on here. <laughs> she keeps bothering me. And if she keeps bothering me, she doing what? She keeps coming. And God, I told y'all, see, I'm a, I'm a clunk out with this mic. Y'all understand. The Lord said, he, we got his attention so yes. that he said, keep coming. Y'all being intensified. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Don't be you. 
Jesus. See, why would you or, or, or yourself have to be the one that stuff had to happen to you for you or I to come to God the way he wanted? Oh. You got to lose everything? Oh. I'm going to have a shut and I ain't going to sleep until God moves. He coming. He coming. The Bible says, but finally, he says, even though I don't fear God or kill the people, they yet because this widow keeps coming, keep bothering me, I will see that she gets justice. Huh? Keep coming. It's your turn. It's our turn. I'm gonna make sure you get justice. Keep coming. Don't slow up. Don't be trying to smack. Don't be trying to be cute with it. Don't try to tip tip with it. Yeah, right. Thank you. Thank we was in the airport and I come home from, from Baton Rouge and we sitting there and I happened to look down the way and um, they, you know, they got these where you can um, go, certain ones can go into these little uh, rooms and, and have bed and rest or whatever. And coming out the room that was coming toward us was T.I. You better tell me. <laughs> he was coming and I was like, Hey, that, and he realized he was on the wrong side to be turned. But he was coming. Yes, he was. And I saw him coming, and I knew who he was. Y'all not saying people. <laughs> 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 the girl, did you want somebody? Okay, so you missed God. See, oh, see, see, see. Because you got to understand oh, if the Lord is saying, keep he's coming. Come on. He, he, he got his attention. He's looking at us, and he's saying, tell him, don't slap the rock. Don't slow down. Tell him, I don't have to put the wrong fire yeah. up, on, up under them for them to keep coming. We were sitting eating lunch today at, at the water place. There. And, and the young man, he, he came from California. We were talking, are you from California? And then Chinese and all that good stuff. And he said, I'm ready to do my little trick thing. So he grabbed the onions. Y'all know how to go. Pile it up. Okay, tell him. Oh, that was good. Put the oh, oil in there. Oh, that was good. Put the oil up here. He takes, he takes the, 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 the match, puts it down in where the oil will catch it, catch on fire. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you don't see, when he catches on fire, when he starts moving the onion, uh -huh. the onion stops the fire but cause the smoke. Oh, the minister ah. sitting on that side and says, Oh, how about shout out? <laughs> because why? You don't see smoke until after fire. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fire is first. Smoke is second. Are you hearing? Me? That's why we can't sit here and play acting like when I say, "Ooh, y'all, I see smoke." Ooh, that's God. God said, "Mm mm." Because if you see the smoke, then I already came in with the fire. That's right. Smoke comes behind fire. Y'all not saying nothing. Yeah, fire yeah, don't yeah. come behind smoke. Smoke comes behind fire. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, that's good. And the more you move, the more, the more the smoke was what? Because the, already the fire had already did what it needed to do. That's why God told us to keep moving on Sunday. Go back and listen to the tape. Then he comes in and speaks and says, tell him to keep moving. Yes. Tell him to keep moving. It's their turn. Yes. Tell keep moving, it's yes. that time. Jesus. Oh God, I love you right there. Jesus. Tap your neighbor, take that. Keep moving, it's our turn. Keep moving, it's our turn. <laughs> so he says, he said, uh, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. Oh, yeah. Why? Because she's coming. She's coming. Right. She's coming. And if I don't do something, she going to still come, but she not going to come the way she come. She going to come and attack me. Are you hearing me? However, she coming. And she going to what? Keep coming. And that's why you got to say, when you in your car tonight, going home, I'm coming. I'm here. Are you hearing me? When you get out of the car, put your keys in, the, in your door, I'm coming. I'm here. That's yes. right. Amen. Amen. When you go in the house and somebody says, who are you talking to? It's all right. Talking to God. I got to know. Keep coming. Keep coming. <laughs> are you hearing me? Oh, God, you in that shower. You taking your bath. I'm coming. 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 I'm co
Now it got to be to the point. Don't try to do this. But it got to be to the point that the hot water turned to cold water. Yeah. Amen. Because you in there so long, you and Jesus. How the Lord she coming over? You understand? Because God, listen. Yeah. If the Lord got His eyes on us, oh yes, come on. And He's pleased about all that we have been doing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Him and Trinity. Yeah. And now we're going to slack up. And he said, no, 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 no. He can't. Yeah. 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 Lest my father uh, leave caring for the asses and then start taking for us. 
Did y'all see that? Yeah. Verse 6. And he said unto him, Behold, now there is in the city a man of God, and he is honorable, an honorable man, and all that he said, come in. <laughs> see, there's a two type of coming here. Right. Because Saul was saying, Well, let's let's come, let's let's go back. Yeah. And the servant said, No, keep coming. Amen. We gotta keep coming. Amen. Even though every stop that we, watch this, watch this size, every stop that we stop, it looked like did nothing happen. Yep. Yeah. But I heard the Holy Ghost say, though y'all kept coming, y'all was making progress. Amen. See, y'all keep looking at the process, Amen. but you're making progress in the process. Amen. Is anybody listening? Amen. Or did everybody go home? And he said unto him, Behold, now there is in the city a man of God, and he is honorable, a man all that he said, Come in, surely to pass. Now let us go thither. Let's keep coming. Yes. We're not going to slow up. We're not going to be, you know, because we, because when you're looking for something and can't find it, wow. you got to be careful because now we will allow different spirits to come in. And when we was energetic and when we were happy and everybody was on fire and now because it looked like, it looked like we didn't find what it was we was looking for the first time. Now we start slacking off. You can't. You got to keep doing what you were been doing before you what started off you got to do what keep coming are y'all getting this yeah. <laughs> so go, 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 go to verse 9 before time in Israel when a man went to inquire of God does he say come don't y'all see all these words come yeah. are y'all getting this yes. are y'all seeing Jesus yes. Yes. before time in Israel when a man went to inquire of God come on Thus he spake, come, and let us go to the seer. But he that is now called a prophet was before time called what? A seer. Go to verse 10. Then said Saul to his servant, well said. Well said. In other words, we need to be what? Staying around each other and doing what? Encouraging each that's other. Right. That's a difference from encouraging. and got to pick you up. Right. Well, that's right. That's a difference from encouraging to pick you up. Sykes is down there. He down there because he's excited. <laughs> but he's not down there because he's trying to give up. That's right, 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 right. And so to encourage, see, you know, start, man, we can do this, so he'll hop up. Yeah, but if then he start going down, I got to stop and say, we can do it. And he got his arm like that, and I got to walk over close. Man, we can do it. Come on now. Now I'm all draining. Right, right, right. 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 See, there's a difference. There's a difference of encouraging. And trying to help you to come up. Right. And we got it twisted. And we mad because won't well, nobody encourage me. No, you want somebody to help you. Come on, come on, come on. Not encourage you. That's right. That's, That's right. different. That's right. Now you mad. Yeah. Because you don't know the difference. Come on. Uh -uh. And so his servant was encouraging him. He said, come on, let us go. Then Saul turned to his servant. Well, say, hey, 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 yeah. Come on, let's, let's go. So they went unto the city where the men of God was. Did y'all see all them come? Yes. yes. Did y'all see all them come? Yes. And what did the Lord say to us? Keep coming. Keep coming. It's our turn. So yes. if you don't believe God, that's on you because it's in the word. And I'm yes. standing upon the word. Yes. He, God finds us to be faithful in this time and in yes. this season. And that's what he told us to do. And we got his attention. Yes. So you can slack up all you want. You can yes. get upset all you want. You can sit there and glory to God yes. and tell the tavern all you want. Yes. I got to do what keep coming because I am. Woo. Yes, Lord. Is anybody listening? Yes, yes Lord. So he says. Then says Saul to Sir, yeah, 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 verse 11. And as they went up to the hill city, they found the young maiden going up to draw the water and said unto them, It's the seer here. Yeah. And they answered them and said, He is. Behold. Now, can I pause right for real one second? Go ahead. Come on. Okay. They started at home uh -huh. with a lost situation. Come mm -hmm. on. But now, because they kept coming, coming. they're now at the well. All right. The water Come on. Okay. that is going to do what? Restore them. All right. I'm good. To give them strength. Yes. That's why you keep coming. Yes. That's going to strengthen you again. Yes. You got to keep coming. Yes. Are you yes. hearing me? Because now they're at the well of where the handmaidens are doing what? Drawing water. water. But if we didn't keep coming and do what God was calling us to do and to provoke God, we would yes. never get to the water. That's right. Apostle. Yes. Ooh. Okay. okay. Go to 12 since y'all 
think I'm playing? Uh, and they not. answered them and said, he, he is. Behold, he is before you. So if he's before us, we got to do what? Keep coming. I'm coming. Because what? Who's before us? He he before us. us. We got to go to him. Yes. He's before us. Which yes. means he ain't lift his spirit up. We not yes. left in time. Yes. Yes. Amen. Come on, y'all. Amen. And, the, and, and they answered them and said, He is. Behold, behold me to look. He is before you. Make haste now. Get in a hurry. <laughs> Be persistent. Be proud about your praise. Be Amen. proud about your worship. Be proud about your peace. Be proud about your home. Yes. I promise you. This is a young lady. That was drawing the water because they knew it. I'm not, 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 i am not i am not i because <laughs> you're going to have to see all these came to come. Come on here. <laughs> For he came today. He came today to me, coach, and said, he came to me today. We coming, but he came to me and said, to tell them to keep coming. Okay, let me say it again. The Lord came to me. Yes, he did. To say, because he said, what did it say right here? For he came today to the city. <laughs> he came to the city. Amen. Spoke to me and said, tell the people to keep coming. Then he went, went before me again. Yes, Lord. Woo, right here. Jesus. For there is a sacrifice of the people today in what? In the high place. place. Oh, God, I love you. Yes. As soon as you become, right. which means into the city, come Come, keep, keep coming. Keep coming. That's right. When you get into the city, oh God, you at the well. Right. You halfway there. Right. He's tricking you again. Yeah. Don't let the enemy trick you. Come on now. Come on now. I know. I know the enemy trying to show his head, but don't let him trick you. Ooh. That's why you at the well. Yeah. That's why he, he he's refreshing you. Yeah. So as soon as you become, not become being, be huh. As soon as you get into the city, you shall straightway find him before he go up Ooh, to the high place to eat. For the people will not eat until he comes. Sorry. <laughs> they will not eat until he come. Keep coming. Keep coming. Because he does bless the sacrifice. There's a difference between obedience and sacrifice. Open. 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 All right. That's why the Lord said, I'd rather than have your obedience yes. at this situation because I told you to do something. Yes. You want to use it as a sacrifice. No, there's a difference. Okay. If I tell you to do something, then you're to obey me. That's right. You're not to look at it as a sacrifice. That's right. Are you hearing me? Yes. Obedience Amen. is better than sacrifice. Amen. Are you listening? Yeah. But when there comes a place in your life and a time that he didn't really strictly tell you something to do, but yet still you know to do it. Mm. And now you get tired. Now it has to become what? A sacrifice. a sacrifice. So it's a difference between obedience and sacrifice. Are you hearing me? And if you don't understand it, you will always misplace yourself in one or the other when you need to be in the other one. That's good. That's real good. Okay. Yeah. Amen. Watch this. And afterwards, they eat that be bitten. Why? The ones that what? That is coming. Come that on. keep coming are the one that has been bidden. Everybody is not have been invited. That's what bidding means. Yeah. Everyone has not been invited. It's the ones that what keep coming. Keep coming. Now therefore, get you up for about this time. You shall find him. Are y'all seeing that? Yeah. Are you seeing? Yeah. Yeah. sixteen. Tomorrow about this time I will send thee a man out of the land of Benjamin And thou shalt anoint him to be captain over my people Israel That he may save my people out of the hand of the Philistines For I have looked upon my people because their cry is come unto me The cry of the people kept coming 
Yeah. And because the crowd, the people kept coming. And yeah. while they're coming, people are crying to God. Yeah. And that's what the Lord is saying to us. You all keep coming because you're going to be the answer. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on, yeah. come on. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be the answer. Yes, Lord. Because other people are crying. Yes. For me, yes. says the Lord. They're coming to me crying. But y'all keep coming. Yes. And now because Saul kept coming. He was he left looking for donkeys. Yes. No. But because he kept coming, he walked up to his turn and didn't even know yes. it. Oh my God. Yes. He, he didn't even know it. He left there being his father's son. And didn't even know that it was it was, it was his turn to be a king. No, right? But because he kept coming, coming. it was Woo. now his turn. Woo. That's good. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. Go back and look at everything. Go back and look at everything and look at the pieces to the puzzles of the prayers and the, of the prophetic exhortation and the word. Glory to God. And the praying, holding hands and praying, provoking God. Oh, see it all. Amen. You get what? Coming. Amen. When you said you were it was an answer to a time for us to tell us that we have to be a blessing for others. Amen. Mm -hmm. He, who is he? Samuel the prophet said to Saul, the Lord had picked you to come. And you kept coming. But there was a time you wanted to turn. Because you didn't find the donkeys, but I connected you with somebody that was going to encourage you and say, No, we gotta keep coming. Amen. And that's when Saul said, You said, Well. <laughs> and the Lord had all the time that he knew you was gonna have to stop at the at the well what and drink of the water to be okay. refreshing. Yes, Lord. to be strengthened. Yes, Lord. come on here. To yes. be encouraged again. Yes, Lord. He's right before you. Yes, Lord. Keep coming. But now, be persistent. Amen. Be persistent and get in a haste. Be more firmer. Yes, Lord. Woo, that's good. Yes, Lord. Then he begins to tell him, your turn, we were waiting on you. Ooh, Jesus. You didn't even know the next shift was we waiting on you. Oh, Jesus. We can't eat until you came. Because it was all about him. And the Lord set up for you to become king. To be in the place of authority over something. You didn't think you was going to be able to be authority over. I got him in the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's because he kept coming. And the Lord said to us. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Because I have a prophetic word. Is this going to let you know what you just walked into? He was looking for the donkeys. He wasn't looking to be king. That's right. He wasn't looking for the increase. He just wanted the breakthrough. Are you hearing me? But God had what? So much greater and better. In your coming, don't slack up. Don't get slow for them. Don't get caught up in the blessing and say, oh, we got it now. No. He said, mm -mm. keep coming because the cries of the people keep coming up before me. And because y'all kept coming, I'm going to use y'all. Amen. Woo, praise Jesus. Is anybody listening? Yeah. Or did everybody go home? Look at your neighbor and tap your neighbor and tell your neighbor. Keep coming. Because it's our turn. It's our turn. Glory to God. I know who's shocked, but this is the will of the Lord. Yes. This is, amen. Billionaires Club, this is Bible expansion. Keep coming. Amen. It's our turn. Glory to God. Come from all over the world. Glory to God. And get your envelope. Yes. And get your envelope.